What's up guys, Matt here from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com. In today's video, I want to tell you to stop using your Phillips screwdriver and switch over to JIS. Plus, I'm giving one of these away, so stick around. Alright guys, so I have a bunch of screwdrivers right here. Here's a snap-on screwdriver that I don't even use anymore. And it's because I work on a bunch of Japanese motorcycles. And even for you Harley guys, if you have a Harley with a Mikuni or Kihin carburetor, guess what? That carburetor is from Japan and it has JIS screws on it. Now, at first glance, it may not look like these tips are all that different, but there are some very slight differences. And for that reason, people will often strip screws um, on their motorcycle. So this information here is from Wikipedia and I'll, I'll show you the differences. Um, but one thing that kind of drives me nuts is that the Phillips was designed to cam out at us when the torque was reached. So in, it was intentionally designed to strip or torque out or cam out and, and for that reason I freaking hate the Phillips drive. Even when I'm doing drywall work inside the house, I don't buy the Phillips drive. I buy the Robertson, the square drive or whatever. I just I just can't stand Phillips because uh, you're just sitting there, you know, you're just stripping the hell out of it. All right, and then um, the JIS screw will have a dot or a little X on the head of the screw. So that's the way you can uh, identify it. So let's get a closer look in here and you can see what the differences are. And then I'm going to talk about which screwdriver I recommend. Um, actually, let's just do that first. Um, these right here are Vessel. And the reason I like these so much is the handle is very comfortable. It has a magnetic tip. And also, it has a built-in impact driver in it. So that means if you got your screw right here, you can whack this with the hammer and it'll cam it 12 degrees. And if they're not super stubborn, this works pretty well. And I'll show you how that works in a second. Um, but if you got a real stubborn screw, you're gonna need one of these impact drivers regardless. And this one's also a vessel. It's the model 2500. And the reason I got it is because they have the JIS bits. And um, I scored this on eBay for like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. So I would, I would recommend that you get one of these on eBay because this model is discontinued and a brand new one's like 80 bucks. So I would definitely um, you know, search eBay for that. And also you can see I have two sets of these. Um, I keep one set near my workbench and the other set in my toolbox. So I, I freaking love these. Um, like I said, it has a magnetic tip and that really comes in handy when you're working on carburetors and you're trying to get this little screw you know into position I mean it just kind of stays so I, I really like that feature I didn't think it would make that big of a deal but it it does um, also if you want to get one of these screwdrivers I will have links in the video description those links support me so they are affiliate links you choose to buy through Amazon or wherever I got these set up through I get a little cut and that helps me out no extra cost to you and I probably get like a quarter so I can buy like a gumball or something so that'd be freaking awesome all right let's get a closer look at this all right so you got Phillips on the right they just had it just has a little bit of a different feature right here it has like a fillet and then down here the height and the angle of the star feature is just a little different so it's much tighter on the Japanese uh, the JIS screw so that those are the m minor differences and we'll try to put some screws in the vise and um, you can see the difference alright guys so I got a bunch of screws in the vise here this is a brand new JIS you can see the little dot right there so that denotes it's JIS this is a brand new Phillips wood screw so you can really see the magnetic tip is you can see the the differences right there so you can see how that's kind of rounded right there, and this is much sharper 
Okay, and then here this screw is starting to strip, and that's all what often happens with a Phillips drive. And then here, these <laughs> I find all kinds of screws on motorcycles, and this is what I typically have to do in order to get them out. I take a cutoff tool and buzz a slot in it, and then use a impact driver to get them out. So I got a video on that. You'll see it pop up in the upper right hand corner if you want to learn how to remove those. But here you go. Here's how the JIS screw fits. It just gets right in there and it just has a more positive feel for when you are loosening screws. Now here's the Phillips. It works great. See how that fits in there right in the Phillips drive. But when I put it in the JIS, you can see it doesn't sit all the way down. So here's a super close-up view. Here's the Phillips, snaps right in. It looks really good, right? Take the Phillips and put it in the JIS. You can see that it doesn't go all the way down. And that's why you strip fasteners. Okay, now let's put the JIS in here. See, now the JIS is backwards compatible, it looks like. This, this driver would work really well in a Phillips screwdriver. Screw. And here, in the JIS, fits really nice. All right, let me cut to a video on how these drivers work in the impact mode. Back to this guy here. See, that one's really tight. Let's go back to this driver. All right, guys, so I'm giving one of these away, and the people that are going to get one is one of my patrons. These guys are pledging a certain dollar amount for every video I upload to YouTube. Uh, right now, these seven guys, 35 bucks per video I create, which is freaking really helping me out, so thank you guys. So right here, this is Kyle from RidingTips.org. Um, he has a site on rider safety and riding tips and, like the, and such, so definitely check out his site. Got Tim W., the Bukaru, which is Pierre, Jared J, Kyle M, Steve L, Hayden R. So one of these guys is going to win a screwdriver. So let's go ahead and cut these up. Now, if you want to um, get in on some giveaways in the future, I plan to do more. All you got to do is become a patron. All right, this I don't have a hat or anything. I got this little bucket here. Jared J, you're the winner. Jared doesn't want it for some reason. The next guy, the Bukaru. All right. Now, I would recommend you guys get to choose whichever one you want. This is a P2 by 100 length. This is a P2 by 150. And this is a P3 uh, by 150. So, actually, I would recommend that everyone has the P2 and P3. Uh, and a P1, but I'm giving one of these away. I would recommend you guys choose one of these. So, Hey guys, if you'd like to support how-to motorcycle repair and creating more videos such as this one, check out my Patreon page and see if you can help me out. You can also buy me an ice cold beer or two by clicking on the link. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.